Hello, TMI. Congratulations on completing the craziest academic year of your entire life. I am so proud of our faculty and our students for pivoting during the fourth quarter as we shifted to remote instruction over spring break. TMI is a strong academic institution. We have 127 years of successful academic delivery, and we did not compromise on that this academic quarter. Despite the curveball, we were thrown in this final academic quarter by COVID-19. As we begin to look ahead to next school year, I know that many of you want to know exactly what August will look like. I understand you want answers. I want them too. Yet it would be irresponsible of me to tell you exactly what next year looks like. Things change too quickly. There's simply too much we still don't know about local, state, and federal regulations and guidelines surrounding COVID-19. That is why I am committed to giving you this update today and then following up with new updates every two weeks throughout the summer. This update will not answer every single question you have, but it will, I hope, show you how hard we are working and how much we are preparing to welcome you back to campus on August the 20th and then to remain on campus as long as we are allowed and as long as it is safe to do so. Everything we have done and everything we will do this summer is aimed at opening our gates and welcoming students, faculty, and staff back to campus in August and then keeping them on campus throughout the semester. As I visit weekly with independent and Episcopal school leaders in San Antonio and across the state and country, one thing we all have in common is our recognition that our schools were never intended to be remote institutions. Believe me, parents, when I tell you that it was a disappointment for, our, disappointment for our teachers not to be able to see our students in their classrooms every day. We know that spending the last quarter at home was not where our students wanted to be because it's not where our teachers or our coaches or our administrators want it to be either. Making this sudden and unexpected shift to virtual school was hard, and it was hard for everyone. We want to be on campus all of next year. We are planning to be on campus all of next year. But we also know that remote instruction might be a necessity. If we do return to remote instruction, it will be along with local public schools and in communion with other Episcopal and other independent schools in our area. In preparing for that, we have faculty teams working together all summer long to take what we learned during the spring and then develop online practices, online practices to make for better experiences for our students, consistent methods and schedules that also allows for flexibility and meeting the needs of each student. We had one week in March to prepare for a shift to remote instruction. If we are forced to return to that methodology in the future, we will be much more prepared. I have asked a group of administrators, teachers, and medical consultants to come together to form TMI's academic response team. This team undertook the task of evaluating and planning for a variety of operational scenarios that may occur over the course of this next year, including increased social distancing, a return to remote instruction. And again, none of this is our preference, but we must be prepared. We are lucky and blessed to have Dr. Tricia Hilliard and Dr. Linda Cook serving as consultants to our academic response team. Dr. Hilliard and Dr. Cook are both board certified primary care pediatricians. And additionally, Dr. Cook holds a postgraduate degree in infectious diseases. Both Dr. Cook and Dr. Hilliard are current or former TMI parents, which means they know our community well. They are working in coordination with Stacy Smith, our healthcare coordinator, and they are helping us ensure that our plan for reopening our campus is based on informed medical advice. No matter what next year brings, we know that school will look different when we return, and we're committed to doing our part to keep everyone in the TMI family safe. We are already planning for increased cleaning and sanitizing of spaces and changes to those times in the day where we would normally gather together, such as lunch or chapel, and modif modifications to our schedule that increase social distancing. Also expect that every student and faculty and staff member will be screened before arrival on campus. The bottom line is this, we're going to follow the safety protocols recommended to us with the goal that we can be together in person as much as possible. 
The academic response team has planned for scenarios ranging from a minor virus resurgence to a strong second wave of infection. We are ready, regardless if school takes place in person, through a hybrid model of off-campus and on-campus, or full remote instruction. We have prepared a reopening guidebook. The link to this guidebook is included in this communication. This guidebook is intended to help you understand the process of coming back to school in the fall, the different scenarios that our academic response team is looking at, and our commitment to health and safety as we reopen. This is a living document, and we will share it with the community now and then update it throughout the summer. Speaking of summer, by now you know that we have canceled all our on-campus activities for summer at TMI. We made this decision after looking at various logistics involved with keeping the campus sanitized, ensuring we have proper pre-screening protocols in place, along with adequate stocks of health and safety supplies, and then whether or not training was in place for the outside organizations coming onto our campus during these unique times. Again, our priority is getting TMI students back on campus, but we won't do that until it is safe and the procedures are in place to keep them safe. Therefore, we decided to cancel summer at TMI. However, the academic courses that were a part of summer at TMI have already transitioned to an online format and are still being held. Some even started earlier this week. Along with on-campus summer programs, we are also not allowing outside rentals of our space and athletic facilities this summer until we can prepare for our own community to come back to campus safely. Our athletic director, Brandon Palomo, and his staff are currently working on a comprehensive plan to get our student athletes back onto campus for practices and outdoor activities soon, as we hope to begin welcoming our student athletes back in early July. Stay tuned for more in the coming weeks. As we plan for next year, I want to give you an update from our admissions office. Prior to COVID-19, we were on pace for another record enrollment. The Office of Admissions is excited to get back to campus this summer so that we may continue the work that we were doing with families and strive to reach all of our enrollment targets for next year. As of today, we are already prepared to welcome 32 new sixth graders and a ninth grade class of 90 students for the fall of 2020. A big welcome goes out to all of our new families. A huge part of our TMI community is our residential life program. This program has made some significant enhancements to the boarding experience for next year. TMI will be offering private rooms for all boarding students and has created small family units with a focus on student health and safety. All boarding students will undergo a 14-day quarantine upon arrival, and we will coordinate the arrival dates of our international and domestic students starting as early as July. We have 36 boarding students enrolled from across Texas, Michigan, New York, Korea, Panama, Vietnam, China, Taiwan, and the Republic of Moldova. The boarding program continues to bring a unique sense of culture and community that enriches the lives of all students at TMI. As we prepare to reopen and to do so safely, I'm excited to announce that our first planned gathering is for us to host graduation on campus for the class of 2020 on June the 26th. With graduation being held outdoors, we are prepared for social distancing and we are ready to implement many of the health and safety procedures that you'll see when we reopen campus this fall, including pre-screening checks and lots of hand sanitizer. We are limiting the guest list to five guests plus the senior. For many of our families, this means tough decisions on who can come and attend and who can't. We know that's not ideal. It's not ideal for us either. Our own faculty are being asked to help usher rather than take up seats from families of seniors. We are all compromising so much and nothing is ideal and we get it. I also recognize that many of you have seen other schools do other things to honor their senior classes. And then likely that leaves you wondering why TMI isn't doing that. I call this the Pinterest effect. Well, we don't have Texas Motor Speedway to seat everybody. We also don't have parking for a thousand cars. 
We don't have space to line the fields with vehicles and allow grandparents to watch from the front seat. We do, however, want to do what works best for us, what allows us, TMI, to honor our seniors as best we can. It's not perfect, but it's not virtual. And speaking of virtual, we are hoping to have it live streamed for those who can't be on campus. While we're doing everything possible to ensure a safe opening this fall, we can't predict the future. We ask you to remain flexible, and we ask you to expect change. I have never been whitewater rafting. Perhaps some of you have. But what I do know about it is that before you get in the water, you make a plan. You use a map. But the river is always changing. Therefore, you must be prepared. You must expect the unexpected. This summer, it feels a little like we're preparing for such a trip. What I also know about, wa about whitewater rafting is that the only way to have zero risk is to never get in the raft. And likewise, the only way to have zero risk on our campus for COVID-19 is for everyone to stay home. But as we continue to prepare for a return to campus in August, we will continue to do reasonable things. We will stay informed and we will depend on our academic response team and the consultation of our medical professionals. But instead of staying home, we're preparing for the ride. We're mapping the course, we're preparing the way, and we're expecting to be surprised. But no matter what comes our way, we'll be prepared. We will stay flexible, we will stay informed, and we ask you to do the same. I will have another update for you on June 19th. Until then, please reach out with any questions you have. We belong to one another. We look forward to the day that you, God's holy people, will be back in this holy place, and I can't wait to see you soon. I love you all.